Why don't you, why, why? Season five, episode three, Taft time. And uh, woo, uh, yeah, so it's it's not the greatest we've started off on any uh, football game, let alone AFC championship. Come on, Bengals! But we got a cocktail. It's either going to help us celebrate or it's going to drown your sorrows. Folks, we got your cocktail. I'll be quick because we want to get back to the game. So come on in. It's season five. It's episode three. We got your Bengals cocktail. Uh, and it's... Uh, it's a tiger cocktail. I mean, come on, help. What's better than that? Shelby, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's not a tiger, but we got a monkey. Hey, uh, yeah, that one, that one. Hey, we got a lot of them. Hey, only business monkey. Let's get in here. Come on, let's go do this. Blue monkey quarantine time. Here we go. Who day? Who day? Oh. 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 Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, hold on. There's new buttons on here. Wait. Ah. Try that. Sorry, guys. All right, here we okay. go. All right, so what's fun about software and everything else is that it updates. <laughs> and it updates whenever the hell you don't want it to. Are we working? We, well, yes. Um, I know that you are on at least two channels. All right, we're on at least two channels. So anyway, who oh, cares? Three. three. We are up. We're running. Here we go, folks. Again, I'm going to be okay. quick. So uh, there are not a lot of tiger cocktails out there. I, why? I'm going to change that in uh, the next year. That's my uh, late filed new year's resolution more tiger cock cocktails uh yeah. you that rolled off the tongue well thank you by the much. yeah that was a you, awkward you pause keep, keep moving yeah tiger cocktails all right anyway uh so let me go back all right i'm gonna throw this at you we're talking 1940s 1950s right now for a cocktail tonight the the world of tiki we love tiki cocktails it's one of our favorites in the house would you not agree yes it is so <clears throat> You know Trader Vic, a.k.a. Victor Bergenon. Matter of fact, Christmas, I have a signed, I now have a signed uh, Trader Vic uh, first publish, uh, what would that be called? First edition. First edition, thank you. Signed edition of a Trader Vic cocktail book from uh, my lovely Shelby wife for Christmas. And uh, very excited. Uh, this cocktail is not in there. Uh, we also know Don the Beachcomber, a.k.a. Ernest Raymond Beaumont, um, and uh, you know, Don the Beach, uh, Don the Beach, yeah. So, we I've talked about both of them forever, but there were others. And one of those others, 1950, California, of course, they all started in California and uh, Los Angeles to be specific. And we are at the China Trader, yes, that was the name of the cocktail bar, the China Trader. And the China Trader had a, a bartender by the name of Tony Ramos. Not to be confused with announcer for uh, one of the games tonight, Tony Romo. Uh, so Tony Ramos uh, was a tiki bartender. And he had his own little batch of recipes. And one thing he had in uh, uh, similarity with the other uh, Trader Vic, Don the Beach, was he was very secretive. So when he left, many of his recipes left. But there were a few. And one of the fews was uh, what we're going to do tonight. It's called the Tiger Shark. Uh, that's as close as I could get to Tiger. Tiger Shark. How good was it? It was so good that the rumor is that Don Beach, uh, Don the Beachcomber, actually stole is the wrong word. Uh, reinvented, yes, borrowed, uh, recreated, fashioned from this cocktail, his own cocktail card that called the shark tooth. But the original, even before dawn, was the tiger shark. And that's our cocktail tonight for the Bengals. Here we go. Let me throw it at you. Uh, what do we need? Oh, one thing I didn't get were actual glasses, Shelby, but I got them right here. Boom, boom. All right. So here's the beauty of this cocktail. Half ounce. Everything's a half ounce. And when you're making two, uh, guess what that means? 
one ounce, yes. So a half ounce, half ounce, so one ounce for two of, uh, so this is one for me and one for Shelby, gold rum. Uh, then we're gonna come in half ounce, total one ounce, white rum, preferably Puerto Rican. That's what the recipe said. Uh, here's a newbie for you. We're, we're going with a half an ounce of 151 Dorera overproofed rum. So Dorera is a, uh, uh, this is some special rum. So El Dorado is where uh, Dorero, El Dorado rum comes from Dorera. And uh, that was, that was me, not the, that sounded like the chime on the phone, didn't it? It did. And, uh, but what's fun about this is, uh, so this is a batch of rum and, uh, but it, it's a sweet rum. And even this, smell that, even overproofed, if you take a whiff, it, it's not, it doesn't smell overproofed. Isn't Demerara something else too, though? Where do there's I a sugar. It? Okay. So there's our other. Then you're coming in with um, uh, half an ounce. Let's, let's just do the lime juice. Let's get that out of the way. Is that all right? So we need uh, one ounce total. On Love it. Who day? I, I <laughs> hopefully you're all who day. Uh, nope. Yeah, they're not. I know. There's one go chiefs, but uh, we won't hold them. Yeah, well, they're fine. We love them anyway. Uh, pineapple juice, half an ounce of pineapple juice. I really, I got a lot of high hopes for this cocktail. I got to tell you, mm. there's that half an ounce there, and then um, simple syrup, half an ounce, easy. Uh, one ounce total. Bunk. Bunk. And then uh, ice it up. Some recipes will tell you to blend this. I'm not a blender guy. We're not going to blend this. I'm not going to blend it for a second, let alone the five seconds that some recipes say. And then we're going to come in, and then uh, there it is. Oh, that did. I'm not screwing around tonight. <laughs> this is, we got a game to watch. Uh, last thing, um, no, not the last thing. Then we're going to put, get some cocktail glasses out, right? Coming in. Ice them up. Oh. What do we got? We got a phone call. Phone call. Phone call. All right. We're going to allow it. I know. I'm afraid. Speakerphone it. Hello. Hold speaker, on. hold on. We got a speaker. You're not on speaker yet. You. You're not on speaker. All right. All right. I think we got you on speaker. Who day chiefs? Who day chiefs? So. So sadly, we have friends uh, uh, that are uh, from split, split Kansas City family. fans. We have split family, so and and, and they're going to call us. Swooping in, swooping in. Swooping in. But you know what? We'll drink that tiger drink all day long. You guys are looking good. Thank you. It's hey, not over. It, it is not over. Enjoy it while you have it. You know, you guys won the coin toss last time and this time. We'll know if it's yep. going to hold up for you. But we'll see. May oh. the best one win. May the best Jacob. one win. Amen. Cheers. We, we love no matter what. That's right. I know. I know. Love you guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Love you. Who day? Who day? Cheers. All right. So there it is, folks. Over ice. Oh, look at this. We got our own little bank here we go. Tiger leaving the room. Here we go. Uh, an emergency, folks. If you're going to do any emergency, you've got to go orange emergency or orange. You know, sporting. If, I don't know if you notice this. If you look closely on the back of the Bengals uniforms, there is an emergency sponsorship. Emergency sponsoring the Bengals. They're not. Uh, they're not sponsoring us either. But hey, emergency saving lives. Here we go. And we're going to go a little garnish on top with that. And then we're going to come in with. I feel like, now if I was really planning better, I would have done, uh, I would have done an orange. But, guess what? I got a lime. So, you get a lime. Can you handle a lime? Yes. Alright, good. Good answer. It is. Boom. Boom. Folks, there it is. 
Tiger Shark. For the Bengals, right there. Let me see how it is. Oh, yes. That's good stuff. Mm. Right? Wow. Wow. Is that right? Wow. So sadly, scary, you can't taste that overproofed rum. That's no, 151. Uh -huh. There's an ounce. Of, this is an ounce and a half. I think that's a new favorite. That's a great little tiki. It's got that great tiki <sighs> flavor, right? That's probably the best tiki drink you've made. Now, can I give you one little last fact? In 10 minutes and 36 seconds. First of all, the fact that I'm about to share has literally nothing to do with football at all. But it was a very interesting fact as I looked up Tony Ramis. And Tony Ramis, as I said, worked at China Trader. So China Trader in 1950. Who owned China Trader? You're probably asking yourself. Man, I wish I knew who owned it. Jack Webb. Jack Webb. Oh, I don't know who Jack Webb is. You do. Jack Webb. Remember, we're in L.A. He was actually the creator and writer for shows such as Emergency. Ha! Emergency. The one you probably know, though, was Dragnet. So, here's where it gets really fun. Dragnet was one of his first shows, and he wrote this, but he uh, didn't really have a lot of L.A. police experience. So, he turned to a patron, who L.A. PD officer, and he helped him with the kind of the inside scoop and how to write the story. Who was that person, you say? His name was Gene Roddenberry. No. Who's Gene Roddenberry? Later, Gene Roddenberry decided to write his own stuff, and he was the creator of... Star Trek! Star Trek! Always the best TV show ever. So, there it is, folks. Oh. There's your... Yeah. So, boom. Tiki brings the world together. And it's going to bring us together tonight. Who day? Let's go get us a win. It's uh, There's a <laughs> Star oh. Trek. Yeah, here. I think you're... Yeah, right? Yeah. Can't do right, that. Sorry, go. Angle. I have a cat in the lap. Folks, thanks for joining us. I'm sorry we haven't been here uh, last week. We will be here next week. We're back. We're ready. Cheers to uh, y'all. Yeah, cheers to y'all. Who day? Let's go get us a win. Let's may get the, to the Super Bowl. the best team win. We'll be playing the Eagles. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Cheers. We're out.